Hi guys, welcome back to Michelle James Designs, michellejdesigns.com. I hope you like this video, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Today we are going to make this awesome Halloween candle holder. Now this is made out of Dollar Tree frames. So, and then I cut a base to get started and I wanted to paint it black. So I cut this piece of PVC tile that you can get at like Menards or Lowe's. They come in two by two pieces and we just cut it to size whenever we need something and it worked perfect for this. So I'm just gonna paint it black so it kind of matches and doesn't stand out at the bottom of my candle holder. So I'm just gonna give it a coat. I ended up giving it two coats. So this would of course be the first coat. So I'm just gonna smooth out the paint as best I can and then kind of set it aside and um, work on the frames. Now these frames come from Dollar Tree. I took the backs off and I took the glass out. So I'm just using a dry brush with the same black paint and I'm just barely adding some streaks of black paint to the silver frame to look at, make it look more Halloween. I like these frames, they're perfect. I think they would be really cute for winter as well, but for Halloween, I wanted to add a little bit of, I don't know, Halloween ambiance with some black paint. So I did end up, I did all four. So I've already cut out my Cricut designs. Um, these are some designs I created, so I can put a link to them um, at, in the description. So I'm going to put like a little series of designs on each of the four panes of glass. So we're going to start with the bats. Grab my glass pieces. And you can see everything on my ceiling, my light, my phone that's filming, <laughs> and my head. <laughs> Okay, so I've already got the transfer paper on these, so I am just going to make sure that it's um, nice and secure. All those pieces will come off easily. And then I'm going to lay it down on the glass where I want to place the bats. Uh, the vinyl that I'm using is transparent vinyl from Style Tech Craft. I love their transparent vinyl. Now some of this has the little glitter in it and some of it doesn't. So they have different kinds of transparent, but it's perfect for glass because you can like see through it and it's really cool. So now I'm just going to peel off the transfer tape and reveal those pretty purple bats. Well, bats aren't pretty, I know that, but the purple vinyl is pretty. So I'm just gonna, then it fits right in the frame. I'll be gluing those in later. And um, so you can see how nice that looks, kind of. There you go. So then I'm going to move on to the next frame, um, which is the spider web, more transparent. This one's kind of a silver glittery. I thought it was perfect for a spider web. I'm just gonna make sure that it is secure because it, there's nothing worse. These little, they're kind of smaller pieces, you know, thin. So it's nice to have it very secure before you try to remove that transfer tape. That was perfect. Look at that, I love it. And then I have a nice little purple spider to go with it. So I'm just going to place him somewhere in the web. There we go. <laughs> so cute. Then I have a witch and the moon. So I'm going to, again, layer these like I did the spider web and the spider. I'm just trying to figure out where I want it. I want her kind of up toward the top. So I got that moon down, that's the glittery trans or transparent, and then the witch is just the purple transparent. She's so cute. I 
love the layering look. She got a little bubble right there, but I'm not going to worry about it. And then the cat and the pumpkin are going to be layered toward the bottom of the last frame. I want to make sure it fits, doesn't go outside of the, I want to make sure the frame doesn't cover it. him just slightly over the pumpkin, which right looks like he's in front of it. How cute. Look at how cute. I love that glitter. It is so fun, that transparent glitter. And it cuts really nicely too. I didn't have any troubles. So I'm just going to give this the second coat. speed that up for you because I know you don't need to see me painting. <laughs> I'm going to set that aside, let it dry, and then I'm going to continue with my frames. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these frames back in because I removed all of the little pieces that held the backing in. So I'm just putting some hot glue in the corners, kind of about a half inch um, on each side and then in the corner. And I'm just going to plop that glass back in the frame. Just like that, it's pretty easy. Just want to, don't want to put too much glue so it kind of, you know, you don't want to see it smooshing out of the corners or anything like that. And then I'm just going to continue doing that with all four frames. all my frames and now this is dry the base so now I'm going to glue the frames to the base at the bottom right along there and some on the sides with hot glue it is hard because if you put too much glue and then you take too much time it settles and dries and gets cool so what I ended up doing was putting it on the bottoms a little bit on the side if I can and then I'm went back in, you'll see um, I glued some of the corners up higher. So I'm just putting a bead of glue along the bottom of the frame. There's about, I think it's like about a quarter of an inch where you can glue to the base on the side. I'm just going to hold it there for a second until that glue um, sets up and cools a little bit. The first one and the second one were the hardest to do, but they, they really weren't that hard. See, it stands up. So then once I got the first one done, I was able to put the other two sides on. And now I just have to do the last one. But I am going to put a little bit of glue in these corners just to kind of help those sides stay and be a little stronger. I'm just going to hold it there for a little bit until it kind of settles. Now it's been like a week since I've made this video and I've moved it around a couple times and it is still very secure. I'm kind of, I was kind of surprised I didn't know how the hot glue would hold up, but it, it's doing fine. So a little bit more glue on the sides at the top there and now I'm putting it on the bottom. I'm just going to place it at the bottom and then kind of bring those sides in and put that last one in place. I'm 
just going to add a little more glue to make it a little bit more secure. Just didn't want this thing to fall apart. Now one little corner is being stubborn. I did get enough glue in there and held it a long time, uh, not a long time, but I held it long enough to um, have that glue settle up and cool a little bit. So this is what it looks like from the top. So then I have this really cool candle holder that I got at the Dollar Tree, of course. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna add some of the Dollar Tree um, Halloween flowers that they have. Some of them have eyeballs in them. And this is how it turned out. I just think it's so cute. There's the witch. I love these frames. So from the Dollar Tree I bought five items. I already had the flowers from another project. So five dollars and if you needed to get um, the flowers then six dollars because I only had one. And I just kind of removed them and put them in there. And the spiders were part of the flowers. And we already had the tea light um, candle holder, th or the tea light in there. That's from the Dollar Tree as well, but we already have that. And I think you can get a pack of two of those for, for the dollar. But I think it turned out so cute. I love it. All the four sides are different, and it's so fun. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. That really helps me out a lot. Thanks so much for watching.